Welcome to Recipes and Mass. Today we are going to cook tuna patties, a very easy and delicious recipe with a very few ingredients. Let's start. To make this recipe, we are going to use one egg, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of oregano, one four of chopped onions, one can of tuna, this is the tuna that comes in water, which I already drained. One cup of breadcrumbs and some cilantro. This is one fourth of cilantro. I'm gonna use three potatoes that I already boiled and now I'm just going to smash. Once you smash the potatoes, we are going to add the egg and all the other ingredients. I like to use the fork when I remove the tuna from the can, that way I make sure there is no extra water, so when we make the parties are gonna stay together and they're not gonna break down once we cook it. We add the oregano and we will add the cilantro and the onions. And one thing that I always recommend is when you start mixing all these ingredients, please try to add the breadcrumbs and parts. Don't add them all at once, which by the way, all the measurements that I'm using are correct, so you can find them in the bottom in the description of this video. And you can see, if you try this with the exact measurements, the tuna patties are gonna be very crispy from the outside and very delicious, and the most important thing, very easy to make. We put some oil in the hand, and we start making the tuna patties in the size you like. Now that we are done making all the tuna patties, we're just gonna let it rest for 10 minutes, and let me show you what we need for the sauce. We're gonna use one quart of oil, I'm using olive oil, also one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, the juice of one lemon, and in this side I have some cilantro and I have green chili, I'm using chile serrano, but you can use jalapeno or any chili you like, and let me show you better. So this is the amount of chili I need, but of course if you don't like spicy you can just add some green peppers some onions and two cloves of garlic and the cilantro and by the way check in the bottom of this video all the ingredients are will be listed there so you don't get confused now the most important ingredient here let me show you let me just put these things together so you can see remember when I told you that we're gonna make an avocado sauce so yes we need avocado sauce and this is gonna be really nice it's gonna be really smooth and the most important thing, I'm gonna show you a trick so how to make the avocado sauce in a way that doesn't get black right away. In a pan, we are going to add the oil and we are going to cook the garlic cloves and the chile serrano for around two or two, three minutes. I'm cooking this on medium heat so the chile doesn't get burned. Once you see the chili, getting a better color and like color like a look like, a, like this like it's almost cooked but it's not cooked this is the moment when you have to remove it from the pan so we can make the sauce we are going to add all the ingredients in the blender and mix it really well one thing that is very important is when you do this please don't forget to add the oil I know you might think hmm avocado sauce with oil yes when you go to restaurants and you see this avocado sauce, the way they keep it fresh is by adding oil. So if you don't like to add that much, or you don't like to use the one that you use for the chilies, or you just didn't even use the chili, you can add at least one spoon of olive oil and that will help you keep it fresh. In a large pan, we are going to add oil, and we are going to wait until it gets really hot. Once it's hot, this is the time to put the tuna patties. The tuna patties will be very quick. This takes around two to three minutes because remember, the potatoes are already cooked, 
the tuna is already cooked so now the only thing we have to do is to keep the golden in crispy color to remove the extra oil I like to place the tuna patties in a paper towel or in a cloth towel in that way all the oil will be removed as you can see all of them has a very nice color I got a very good shade of tuna patties and this goes with every single thing you can think of I like to eat the tuna patties with a sauce some salad and this is a very delicious salsa if you have never tried please do it you love it now as you can see everything is ready we're just gonna place the tuna patties and eat it if this is your first time here please subscribe leave a comment like so that way you can get more recipes every week let me show you how it looks from the inside i like with the sauce of course this is the best thing and look soft from inside golden brown outside my name is hazel thank you for watching